Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law, is a TV series on the Cartoon Network about a washed-up cartoon superhero who becomes a lawyer to defend other washed-up cartoon characters. I'll take the case! I really enjoy the TV series, so I thought I would enjoy the game. And overall, I did. The game is an unashamed ripoff of the popular Ace Attorney series for the DS. The basic gameplay, flow, and structure of the DS series is identical. But since Capcom owns that series, they figured they would borrow from it to make this game. The problem with doing that is you have to compare the game with the Ace Attorney series. And in that regard, the game is an embarrassment. They managed to ruin everything we found fun in the Ace Attorney series. I would beg to differ with this statement, but I think it sounds just fine. The investigation part of the game is like a point-and-click adventure game, but it's about as challenging as a Blue's Clues point-and-click adventure game. The items you need to click on are so obvious, they might as well have a sign on them saying, Click on me! The court scenes are more challenging since, like the Ace Attorney series, you have a set number of lives, you have to press the witness, and present the evidence. For all of you who have played the DS series, you know how much fun this can be. Capcom decided to take all that fun and throw it down the toilet. I object. Pressing the witness isn't as much fun as in the Ace Attorney series because they only react to certain parts of the testimony. And if it's not pressable, nothing will really happen. Then there's the presenting of the evidence. Now I know the Ace Attorney series is known for huge leaps in logic when it comes to presenting evidence. And this game is no different. In fact, I would say it's even worse. If you show the wrong evidence, you'll lose a life. If you lose them all, you'll have to restart at your last save. Which really isn't that big of a deal since every cutscene is skippable. Now I know you must be thinking, how after all those complaints could I say I enjoyed the game? Well, the cutscenes were what saved the game. Evil twins facing off against one another for the soul of their young sidekick. Tell me that's not a hackneyed video game idea! There were a lot of cutscenes in the game. So many it was almost like we were watching the TV series, with a rude interruption every once in a while by the actual game. The voice acting was great, and most of the cast from the TV series is back to lend their voices. I also found it funny in parts. They would throw out jokes like crazy, and they missed the plate a lot of times, but the ones that did hit were hilarious. Avenger! Tooby! <laughs> There were five cases in the game, and it took me less than five hours to beat the entire game. There were secret movies to find, but you tend to unlock them by accident. The game feels like it should have been a budget title for 1999, and if it was, I could recommend this game, since it was amusing. The game, though, is currently priced at $39.99, and that's way too much for the little content they give you. This game is definitely worth a rental, but not a buy.